So another question uh, that we think of when grazing um, fescue, typically in the early fall, late summer, uh, is the, the fungal endophyte issue. Uh, as we know, um, tall fescue has a fungus that produces ergot alkaloids, and uh, unlike fall stockpiling where we have cooler temperatures and it's not really as much of a concern in most uh, considerations, uh, it is something we did want to uh, look at and address with this project. Uh, as you can see with our fall group of uh, cat and cows, uh, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning and they've already, uh, they've already quit grazing. So one thing we wanted to look at was the actual uh, condition, not only of the, the nutrient concentration of the stockpile, um, but we also wanted to look at the ergot uh, uh, concentration, the, at the actual toxin concentration in the fescue. So we, in addition to those pasture uh, quadrant samples that we took for nutrient density and yield, uh, we also sent one off for uh, ergot alkaloid analysis, and we also um, uh, were able to use uh, a grazing animal uh, that has an esophageal uh, fistula uh, to be able to uh, capture the actual, um, any effects that might be uh, produced by uh, animal selection. And so this is our steer patches. Uh, we borrowed him from uh, campus in Blacksburg. And uh, as you can see, he has a esophageal uh, fistula. Um, and then we insert a cannula into that uh, esophageal uh, area. And um, basically we, just, we collect uh, forage bags which fill up as, uh, as the steer grazes. Um, we house them here up you know, for about two weeks during the uh, September to really get a, a snapshot of, of uh, you know, what his ergot or his alkaloid diet is. And uh, you know, from what we found of the samples that we have, um, the steer is selective when it comes to nutrient composition. You know, so he does select uh, a higher energy content and a higher protein content uh, than the, the, if you just take all the biomass uh, of the pasture. But as far as the ergots are concerned, uh, we have not found a difference in, in a lower number selected by the steer versus what we've seen in the pasture itself. Averaged over the two-year study, the steer selected only slightly better in crude protein and marginally better in TDN, but actually selected a higher concentration of ergot alkaloids when compared to a clipped pasture sample. Not surprisingly, the 50 pounds of nitrogen treatment applied in the spring did increase the TDN and crude protein of the forage, but also increased the alkaloid concentration. It should be noted, however, that the spring applied nitrogen treatment did not increase the yield or significantly increase the nutrient density of the forage and therefore is not a recommended practice for summer stockpiling. One technical note with our steer is that he was dry lighted for 12 hours prior to being allowed to graze and provide samples. Overall, we conclude that fescue toxicity is not a grave concern for summer stockpiling systems and may be less pronounced if commercial nitrogen sources and fertilizers are not used. This concludes our video series. Please feel free to contact Matt Boer or myself at the contact info listed on the screen for any questions. Thanks so much for watching.